Yo, are you holding it? You can take the lightsaber. No, 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 no you go ahead. No, um, <laughs> don't turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined here by Omid of Tahi, and we are going to be talking about a little bit of Star Wars knowledge and a little bit about The Mandalorian. How was it to be on the very first TV show of Star Wars? Listen, this is a, it's a question I've been asked like countless times, and I've struggled with it because I don't have the words to express how lucky I am and how much I love what I do and how much I love working on the set and being part of the Star Wars universe and, and getting to deal with fans and it's just I feel like I've won the lottery and it's not a monetary lottery it's just the coolness lottery coolness lottery and I, love uh, it. And I have a six year old son who I have been able to share my passion with yeah. and what I do with yeah. and that's also like amplified how awesome that's beautiful. Being I Star love Wars that. is, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about how it was to work alongside Baby Yoda. Yeah, when I first got to meet uh, Baby Yoda or Grogu, whatever you want to call him, um, uh, they first just handed it to me, handed yeah, it to me, wow. and he was just there. And then these two guys came. They're like, "You want us to turn him on?" I'm like, "Yeah." What does that mean? <laughs> and they turned him on, and his eyes opened up. He looked around. His ears oh. started doing this. Yeah, yeah. And I got the chills. Yeah. Uh, I got goosebumps. Um, and I mean, I'll never forget it. And I'll tell you, like honestly, like it was in the early days when I worked with Grogu, Baby Yoda. Uh, we had to do the scene once with the animatronic mm. and then also once with a tennis ball in case oh, yes, they had decided yes. to use CGI. Werner Herzog, who played the client, called them cowards <laughs> for using a tennis ball and so, so the tennis good. ball got thrown away and yeah. then, we, then you know, you, you see the, the magic. One. Amazing. But that's what's beautiful about Star Wars, right? Yeah. It's all the artistry and the, and the creativity that takes place in the practical, the imagination to life. Of it. Yeah, not Amazing. behind computer screens. Yeah. <laughs> How was it as an actor to kind of act against someone that you can't see their facial expressions? Um, <laughs> you can't see their facial expressions and you can't hear them very well. All oh, right. Yeah. So if you have like lines with them, because it takes a team to do Mandalorian. It's Pedro, it's Barry, it's Brendan, and it's Latif. Yes. It's a four-headed Amazing monster. Doubles, and yeah. most of my time has been with uh, Brendan. Yeah. And it's most like, well, he'll come in and be like, blah, 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 blah. I was like, I swear, I didn't do it. I was just trying to protect him. He's like, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I know, I'm just, trust me. Like, it's, it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's like that. So, but that's also, as, an, as that character, is also what makes it kind of scary. Because yeah. you don't know who's behind that. You can't see the person's eyes. That's why yeah. he's so anxious. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, going along with the Mandalorian theme, we did see a very cool shot of Dr. Pershing returning in Season 3. We won't ask you any spoilers, but that. if you could describe the season in three words. Unlike anything before. Ooh, I like that. That sounds good. That sounds really good. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> that checks out. Dr. Pershing, again, he is just such a great character. He's, he's got this in, inner mind working at all times. You can kind of see him thinking what is good, what is bad. I want to know in your opinion, is, is he an inherently good or bad person? I'm trying to figure out how to say this without <laughs> spoiling anything. <laughs> My approach to season one was, I mean, he has lines that, that I think inform me about who he is. Like, mm. I protected him. If it wasn't for me, he would already be dead. Those were really important lines to me in building Dr. Pershing. Yeah. Yes, he shows up in an imperial outfit. But I think science above all else is what's important to him. Yeah. And I do think he treads between the black and white, white and he, he lives in that, that gray area. Yeah, in the gray. But, um, yeah. yeah, he's I more than meets that. the eye. Uh, I, I think that's given us a lot to think about. Now, another deep cut for Star Wars fans yeah. is that this isn't the first time you've been in Star Wars. You've voiced a very interesting Mandalorian character from the Clone Wars, yeah. Cadet Amos. Can you can you tell us anything of what you remember from voicing this character? Yeah, I remember. I mean, it was a long time ago, and I remember when I auditioned for it. Um, it was like this guy is pudgy. He's like he eats a lot, yeah. and he's in this you know, and he's British and. And so, like, that's I went in. I was like, you know, I'm, like I'm hungry. I don't know what we're doing, and this and that. Um, and then I see the the final product. I'm like, this guy's like an all-American football player, like all, all British football player. 
rugby player. I mean, he just he looked way different than what I had in mind. If I knew he was that handsome <laughs> and that fit, I might have used a different voice. <laughs> I love that, but yeah. yeah, he he was a sweet character in those episodes. He was yeah. so cool with uh with obviously his good friend Corky in Corky, those episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all amazing. So doing voiceover work on the Clone Wars, uh, is is that very like you, you do that just by yourself, or with you, are you with the other actors? That while one you was do that? Uh, it was all the other actors. It's one yeah. of the few jobs I've had where we were in the room with like eight other people. Yeah, wow. I mean, now with COVID. Yeah, You're never a in the room different. with anybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Umid. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Take care, guys.